you guys in this video we will learn how to use two dependent sample t test in r right so two dependent sample t test is used to understand that if is there any statistical difference between the mean of before and after trial so for example suppose uh, there is a promotion run by a credit card company right and this is a data of say 200 credit card users so they want to understand whether the promotion campaign was effective or not so the only way to measure it is to understand that where the mean of post trial versus pre trial has increased or not right or is there any difference between the two so in order to do the two dependent sample t test you set up the null and alternate hypothesis so null hypothesis in this case would be that sample mean of pre is equal to sample mean of post or an alternate would be the sample mean of pre is not equal to sample mean of post so right now here we are using two tail t test in order to use the you know one tail t test there is an argument called alternative right is equal to two tail here you can assign one tail if you want to understand whether it has increased or not right instead of not equal to there will be greater than equal to right so in order to do the t test in r there is a function called t dot test right this is present in base r name of your first variable which is pre uses right name of the second variable from the data frame which is post uses of second month then there is an argument called pair because here you are doing the pair sample t test so dependent sample t test is also called pair because you have only single population but you are measuring the effect pre and post experiment or pre and post trial that is why here it's paired is equal to an alternate is equal to two sided because it's two side t test now once i execute this the output output will be printed in the console so here you can see that t value is so minus 8.8 .8 and p value is less than 0 0.05 which means that you will reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternate hypothesis so in this case the difference between you know, pre and post mean is not equal to zero or they are not equal they are different right also the sample estimate of mean of difference which is 5 point minus 5.8 is lying between minus 4.5 and 7.7 7.1 7 right so so but the mean of pre and post trial are different i hope you like this video thank you